everyone, Angela here, and I have a journal share for you guys today. Um, so this is a single signature, quite, quite chunky. <laughs> um, my last journal I had done and shared with you guys was a very non-frou-frou kind of journal. And so, of course, I had to go the complete other way this time and go very frou-frou. So this is my Pretty in Pink journal. Uh, it has 68 pages front and back, and it measures six and a quarter by nine. There is one large center pocket, uh, 29 other pockets, tuck spots, belly bands, um, that sort of thing. There are three of my handmade postcards, six tags, and 15 additional journaling spots throughout the journal, and five altered paper clips. Um, I used throughout the journal the color box or color book, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, um, Delilah stack. And then on the front cover is one sheet, it's the front and the back, of the Craftsmith, sorry I've got my notes here, <laughs> like Craftsmith uh, Tea Party. And then the inside cover has a sheet from Pebbles Hello Spring collection. And then throughout the journal, you'll see a couple of stamps um, that are Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous stamps. So this journal and this cover, I tried something a little different. Um, it's a single signature pamphlet stitch. Um, and then I kind of painted over, it's with wax thread, painted over with gold to make it blend in better. Um, and this is not very mixed media, and normally my covers are, so this was a little different for me. This is a file folder, and I painted it in gold around the edges, and then has pink cardstock, and then the cardstock from the tea party. And the closure is this elastic that I glued into the inside cover before covering it and doing the pocket here on the side. So we'll go ahead and get right into the journal. So the inside cover on both sides front and back has this pocket and all the tags have been topped with um, some eyelash trim and um, baker's twine. So this is one of my altered paper clips and this is just a wood veneer butterfly that I have painted and I used um, the Martha Stewart crafts pearl and I used two different colored pinks and two different colored golds throughout the whole journal and everything that has been inked I use two different inks the ranger archival in the rose matter and the magenta hue some most has been coffee stained there are a few things that have not because I kind of liked the contrast to the white and the coffee stain with the pink and the gold. So it's pink, coral, and gold throughout. And then coffee staining in white, obviously. So a uh, couple of these pages, I had uh, kind of like a pink parchment paper that I sprayed. And I did ho two homemade sprays for this. One was a gold one and one was a pink. And this is one of those Tim Holtz stamps down here. Heart doily side chuck here with just extra journaling. And one of the Tim Holtz tattered florals. Then I did book page. 
uh, and then sprayed it with that pink spray I made. Other side. Let's see, I have coffee dyed spray and then pink spray, and I really like the combination of that. And this is just a Fisker's uh, Corner Punch. And this is a Fisker's Mum's the Word Punch. And just some paper flowers. Very lightly stamped. Um, actually, I stamped on the other side this butterfly. It's one of the Tim Holtz Stampers on us butterflies. Uh, but the paper is thin, so it went through, and I actually kind of liked it. <laughs> um, just a bookmark here, topped with the same fibers. Um, just using up scraps for that. Um, there are some cardstock throughout as well. Um, so this is a big doily that's been coffee stained, and then I sprayed it with some of the Lindy's, and I think I used cotton, I think it was cotton candy something, and one of the tags, all the tags have the same fibers topping them, and reinforcers that I've painted with the light pink Martha Stewart paint, and I've got a fold out here. Um, that's been coffee stained and sprayed in pink, and uh, this is just one of those cards from the Michaels bins that I sprayed. Tuck spot here. I've got a couple of index cards that I coffee stained and stamped as well. The butterfly stamp I stamped in the middle of the page. You'll see half on this side, half on the opposite. Uh, just some banners here and a Fisker's punch that I painted gold with the butterfly. Tuck spot and extra journaling. Another little butterfly. Tuck spot and another journaling card. Tag, and then some of the tags are pink that I coffee dyed, and some of them are manila that was coffee dyed and then sprayed with pink. More butterfly stamps. All right, this is a pocket here with a Prima flower and a flatback pearl. And then a tag and just more journaling spots. Anything that I added that has dimension, like this flat back pearls, are either on an altered paper clip that can be removed or it is off to the side, top or bottom, so it does not interfere too much with writing in the journal. And there is plenty of journaling space throughout this entire book. I tried to leave as much blank space as I could and not overload it. Um, doily die cut, some banners, a little paper flower, and a flat back pearl on top. I'm going to talk about here as well. This is one of my homemade paste, car paste postcards that I do. Um, so it's inked with the, the Rose Matter ink and then sprayed with the pink spray that I made and the gold spray. Sorry, I kind of went off camera there. And this is just an embossing folder that I did the same on this side as well. Uh, banners here. This butterfly. So I have this package of butterflies that I bought that are chipboard butterflies with canvas on top. And they're really thick. They're, they were almost too thick to put in here. So what I did is I peeled the top canvas part off, which you'll see later in here. And then this bottom part was still good and usable. It's just chipboard that's a little textured. So I just painted it and popped that on there too. 
another altered paper clip and this pink glittered butterfly I actually got from the dollar store in their flower sections <laughs> um, and then just a white feather and a little pearl sprig this is the center of the signature large pocket I just did some lace trim uh, this is another one of my postcards so another embossing folder same same process and I actually forgot to count this tuck in my tuck count so because this is also a tuck as well so that will make a total of 30 pockets and tucks plus the large center one uh, I did some washi here uh, this this cardstock when I sprayed it dried it and folded it it seemed a little brittle so I just wanted to reinforce that a little bit oh uh, let's see this is another one of the uh, doily die cuts that I have and then a prima flower and one of the butterflies from the Michaels Michaels dollar fifty spots another tuck spot and more journaling these journaling spots are just using up the scraps from the paper uh, that I cut didn't want to go to waste another butterfly tuck spot same thing uh, and this is that top canvas part of the butterfly um, and that's just a dollar store flower that I painted Altered paper clip with some Fiskars butterflies, a feather, a dollar store, flower that I sprayed with my gold spray, and then a wood veneer heart that I painted with the light pink. This is a top pocket and another postcard. stamp index card with the coffee dye and the stamp and this is just a belly band with the Tim Holtz tattered flower again another altered clip uh, so some feathers pearl sprig uh, Fisker's butterfly punch that's been painted flower that's been painted and a homemade enamel dot for the center uh, let's see, tuck spot, this is a Sizzix die cut, can't remember the name of the flower that it is, another one of the canvas butterflies, this is a little fold out with a card, this card is one of the dollar store cards, uh, it says live, love, and a laugh, and it's just been coffee dyed. The other half of that butterfly. Another tuck spot. Some more doilies and butterflies and flowers. Uh, this is also a large tuck here with the large 8 inch doily. More butterfly. Banner tuck. Banner tuck. And another altered paper clip. Flowers, butterflies, feathers. The same old deal really tuck spot same on the back flower with just a sequence the back cover with the pocket and down the center before I stitched in the signature I ran some lace as well just to add a little extra frou-frou <laughs> so yeah this is my pretty in pink journal uh, it was a little different for me to make but it was a labor of love and uh, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.